What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the way I change the fuel filters on the 60 diesel. I have a special way that I do the lower to get out of the splash zone and try to not get diesel fuel on me as best as I can. I'm going to go over some of the tools you're going to need and you don't need a hoist. We're doing this at home. All right guys, change your filters. Let's check this out. What is up everybody? Thanks so much for checking back in, taking the time out of your day to see what we are talking about for all of our power strokes. I love, I love my 6.7s. They are my number one 6.7 diesel, the best Ford power stroke ever. Number two, we have the 6.0. Number two, 6.0 my second favorite um, this is what i grew up on I actually grew up on seven threes doing warranty repairs on seven threes but now those are kind of dinosaurs those are the relics those are the totally reliable ones you keep those tucked away in the garage these six o's are my second favorite the workhorses what i grew up on what i had to learn to diagnose high pressure oil leaks and uh various different changes in the turbo and egr systems but one of the things that we always have to do to to our power strokes is maintenance now we're using Ford OE motorcraft filters if you guys are wondering for all of your 60 diesels this is the fuel filter you are going to be using if you have an Econoline you are going to have a different lower it's going to be a little pancaked smush one like this but about that tall um, still uh, taking the same secondary so, some of the things that I use, I've been loving the Icon Ratchet, CP's Garage is provided for the channel. I have a 36 inch long extension, 3 8 drive, and I use a wobbly do. And the socket that you guys have seen me use multiple times, this is one of the sockets that Diesel Tech Ron used, and I always give him a big shout out every time I use the socket, and especially when I'm filming and teaching you guys about the tips and tricks when doing maintenance or repairs on these things. And hey, we gotta pay homage to the guy who started it all. So, um, Motorcraft filters, you guys know I'm all about the brake clean. Uh, I'm not uh, using the Sure Shot can, but my second favorite. Brake clean is the Cyclo. Uh, they got some good stuff. So we're gonna go uh, underneath the truck. Oh, and one of the other things here for the upper filter is a 15 16 I usually use 3 8 drive, but uh, I'm only equipped with half inch for that. So we're gonna go underneath the truck and we're gonna start with the lower filter. I'm gonna show you uh, where the splash zone is. Pay attention to this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys underneath. All right, we're underneath the truck, obviously. Um, this truck's missing a little bit, and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys because it was a little more wide open because this is not have a transfer case so i don't have a drive shaft i have a clear view of the drive shaft and transfer case would be right here so that's why i have this long ass extension to keep me away from the splash zone i don't want to get wet with fuel and be going through the rest of the day with fuel all over me so i have my drain pan positioned somewhat underneath here but you can see the frame goes down here so there's going to be a, a, a point of collection that is going to drain uh, and some sometimes it's going to go that way um, you have two ways you can do this so you have a couple of risks there is a six millimeter allen here that you're supposed to drain your fuel water separator a lot of times these are very corroded once you take this out you're not putting it back in if you know you have a good seal or you've replaced this HFCM manifold, go ahead and drain the fuel water separator and you're not going to make as big a mess as you are 
if you were just to pull this cap off. I don't know the history on this. I don't want to be stranded. I don't have these parts available. I can always clean the mess up because we got brake clean. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen this. So that's why I wanna say have your, your drain pan and your drain pan and collection container ready. This is the extension I can use and the setup. And I'm just breaking it loose. Just like this. You guys can see that gap starting to split right there. I'm just gonna do it by hand. Do the fuel start. We are in the splash zone. So just, you know, be prepared to, to have fuel. It's coming. I'm gonna just jiggle that cap here. There we go. There we go. So you're just gonna take this all the way off, let it drain, just like this and uh, you're able to get the cap out, get the extension and the tooling out of the way. So this is where having the 4x4 can really be cumbersome, but I'm, I'm so glad to have been able to have this opportunity to show you guys the best way to handle this because I don't have the 4x4 transfer case in the way. So you can see exactly what you have to do. Wow, you can really see that filter. It doesn't look like it's been changed in a minute very similar to the upper oil filter cap in fact those two can be interchanged if you're in a pinch same o-ring okay here's the filter you guys can see how dark that is fuel looks good definitely definitely looks like it was in need of changing for sure okay i'm gonna go upstairs and i'm gonna replace the o-ring on this cap I got a screwdriver and a new uh, O-ring. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to grab the new filter, and we're going to go over what we got to do next. All right, so you have a couple of things you can do. You either can clip the filter into the cap, just like you were to do the oil filter, but one of the things Diesel Tech Ron mentioned, RIP, buddy, um, and I'll never forget it. See this little tab right here. Okay, on top of the fuel filter. If you guys notice, that tab is indicating where the bleed orifice is. So what I always get in the habit of doing, and what I recommend that you do, per his instructions, is when you put the filter in, you're gonna rotate that filter. You're not screwing, it's not like you're threading it, but you're gonna go all the way until that stops. I can't turn it anymore. That means that bleed orifice is at the top, okay? then. We're gonna go, I'm just gonna hand start the cap like that. No big deal. And then we're gonna get the tool set up and we're gonna snug it down. Now some of the things you're gonna wanna do when replacing this filter is obviously fuel filter system, and fuel filter and system maintenance is gonna be very important. So you're gonna to want to take into consideration what the inside of that cavity looks like. If there's, you know, depending on the weather, if there's gummy bears, uh, because the diesel fuel has gelled. But it's real important to take note uh, in there. I know this guy has actually uh, replaced uh, this housing when he replaced his engine. So a um, couple different ways, a couple things to look out for. Now it's time for brake clean. All right. Hefty serving. Get it, babe. Get it. Clean that off. Splash zone gone. This guy is a contractor. Now imagine if he pulled up to his job site where he was going to give his customer a quote and he was just leaking diesel fuel because the bozo didn't clean it off after it was dumped. Don't be that bozo. Clean it off. You didn't see fuel residue on here when it came in, did you? No, sir. Clean it off. All right, that looks good. We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna continue with the upper. All right, one of the important things you're gonna wanna do, especially on our 6.7s, is prime the fuel system and check for leaks before you replace that upper filter. Now I hear the fuel pump on. I don't see any leaks, that's good. We're gonna go ahead and prime that again. 
once you hear that pump shut off, go ahead and cycle the key again. Let's see how many miles. It's got 196. Good dude. Takes care of his truck. Maybe a little lax on the fuel filter, but we're all busy. He's in the right place. But we're gonna repeat that. I'm gonna key cycle it a few more times for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go underneath the hood. All right, here we are underneath the hood, and we're at the secondary fuel filter. Now this is the 15 16th hex drive, but we are not gonna be putting the half inch socket in there because that will break. I see a lot of guys do that and have had them come in. If you guys have had a instance where that cap is stuck on there because it is broke, I'll put a link in the description of the video that I have done regarding on how to remove that cap when that happens. So that's about it right there. I'm gonna spin it off, it's really a no brainer. Okay, very small cap. Got an O-ring on it, no big deal. Let's get this filter out. Okay, don't look too bad. We'll just put that boy in there. Let it drain out. Let it drain out its goodness. All right, now we need to replace this O-ring. Pop that off. Here's our new one. Now you can just use the fuel residue that's on the cap and you can put some of that on the O-ring. But this one will actually clip in right into the cap. Okay, you put it like that to where it's nice and flush and perp perpendicular. And then, and then that's pretty much it. You're just gonna pop that filter in. Put it in like that. You can feel the threads, not cross-threading it. It's going down. You can hear the O-ring starting to get, get wet. Now I can't turn it anymore. So that's when I'm gonna grab my socket. Go ahead and give it its final snug. This is not metal, it's plastic people. So just give it a little snug. We're gonna finish it off with some Cyclo. Let's get the shot. Don't be scared. It's just brake clean. Don't be scared. Get that little filter a little more. Cause we had to do that too. Ah, the whole can's almost gone. Let's just empty it. Just in the way. Look at that. Fast evaporating. Ain't gonna have any residue anywhere. All right. Prime this and get it. Fuel up into that secondary bowl. Get that filter saturated, and and then we'll start it. That you guys is how you replace the fuel filters on your six liter diesel. Let me know in the comment section below if this helped you in replacing the fuel filters and not getting fuel all over you. But remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See ya.